It's been two and a half years since Texas State student Jason Landry vanished, but advocates haven't given up hope on finding him. Fox's Angela Shin has more from Austin. They're literally angels walking on earth because I can't believe, having never met him, how passionately they have given to this case for two years now. It touches all of us, kind of in our deepest place. It's the nightmare of any parent. Jason's family expressing gratitude for all the people who haven't given up hope. And that hope is just as strong today. We feel like as citizens, we want to do what we can to bring closure to the family. And so we can't give up. We don't want to give up. We will continue to look for Jason until Jason is found. Catherine Shellman is the founder of the Jason Landry search team. She was drawn to his case because her own daughter, Tiffany Perry, was a Texas State student about to graduate. She says she was shot to death by her ex-boyfriend in 2010, who then shot himself. I used to think that the worst thing that could happen to a parent is to have their child murdered. But after hearing about Jason's story, I thought of his parents and realized that it's not. The worst thing I can imagine is not knowing where your child is. Investigators say Jason disappeared on a drive from San Marcos to his hometown of Missouri City, Texas. His crashed car was found on Salt Flat Road, a gravel road in Luling's oil field. The Caldwell County Sheriff's Office believes he took his clothes off in the street and left his belongings behind. Shellman and a team of about 30 people, plus trained dogs, have been searching for him at least once a month. The most recent surge happening last week. What we're looking for now is different than what they were looking for in the early stages when Jason went missing. It's this time of year, the grass is quite high and there's a lot of brush. And so I feel like if we cannot see to the ground, we cannot call an area cleared. They're also looking for a new spot to put up a billboard in the Luling area. This one on 183 near downtown was up for several months. Uh, we're looking for a citizen who might be willing to have the, the banner or any banner uh, at their home where it might face a road, a street, Highway 80, anywhere that people would come and go from Luling. We would like to keep that information out there. And uh, we'd like to make sure no one forgets about Jason. Jason's case is being investigated by the Attorney General's office. They said last December, it appears he was in a single car accident and a search warrant found no activity near the crash site. Nothing has been found that suggests he was planning to meet anyone in Luling. Well, it could be that someone has a very small piece of information that they might think is insignificant, but that may be just the piece of puzzle missing to figure all this out. Shellman says they won't stop until they find him and anyone who wants to join their team can contact her. We all know that the tragic thing of losing your child, not knowing where they are, has got to be the worst experience for a parent. And so we are trying to bring closure to the Landry family by finding Jason, no matter what that takes. Angela Shen, Fox News.